I had a bikini competitor come in my DM box who accidentally, I think, dosed upwards of 200 micrograms because she had a liquid solution. And that led to her on the toilet puking for 30 hours straight in convulsions. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Well, today's ASMR sip is 1907, 1907 wire.com coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz noises brought to you by Intelligent Elephant Carbon. Coupon code Russo, there's your noises. Young LA for this oversized shirt. All other discounts located in the pinned comment below. Check out my source list. Welcome back to Peducation. Today, I'm going to be covering Clenbuterol everyone's favorite broncholator however you say that you can roast me in the comment section for fat loss as well as preserving muscle on a cut heavily utilized in all the female npc ifbb and overall i have some strong opinions on clenbuterol i'm not a fan of clenbuterol based on everyone coming in my dm box at russo lifts with crazy problems but i wanted to go a little bit over the mechanism as well as the history my source is the Anabolics 11th edition. Check it out on Amazon. This is written by doctors, so I will be going through the history on here. So first off, what is clenbuterol? It's a asthma medication, a broncholator, specifically working on the adrenoreceptors. So there are multiple types of adrenoreceptors. Beta-1 adrenoreceptors being the ones everyone wants to avoid, aka the ones that fuck with heart rate and stuff. Clenbuterol is a selective beta-2 receptor agonist, so it's avoiding the beta-1 and beta-3, right? So that's what makes clenbuterol so appealing is you don't feel it working on all the beta-2s. The beta-1, you would feel the but really you don't because it's not working on beta one. So that's why people can get away with, I'll go into it having skyrocketed blood pressure all day, not really noticing it and saying, Rusa, I feel fine, you know, and then they go take their blood pressure, but that's the mechanism and that's why it's utilized. The half-life of clenbuterol is around 34 hours. So once a day, dosing makes clenbuterol extremely attractive as far as you don't have to dose this multiple times a day. You don't have a peaking half-life. You can keep this constantly in your system for fat loss. So you're counting on clen to break up fatty acids into triglycerides, which is gonna speed up fat metabolism. Clenbuterol has also been shown in studies to exist exhibit anabolic activity, otherwise known as it helps preserve muscle mass and extreme caloric deficit, especially paired with steroids and growth hormone and everything else people use in contest prep. Clen's not one of those ones that, you know, makes muscle fall off you, cough, cough, T3. That's why you see Clen used way more in pre-contest than jacking up thyroid hormone to make yourself lose weight. We're going through the adrenoreceptor pathway with Clen. So Clen is heavily available as far as legal means go in other countries, but it was never officially approved for human use in the United States. This is all underground usage of Clen. All right, getting into the problematic parts of clen so clen is dosed in micrograms andrew so we have people having issues measuring milligrams now we're dealing with micrograms and clen normally comes in a liquid solution making it different for people to dose milligrams now they're with liquid dosing micrograms so one fuck up and your heart rate's out of control and you're riding that out for 30 plus hours so it's 20 microgram incremented dosings my personal preference with clen there's a thousand different personal preferences with Clen. So I'll just go into what I like to do, which is a two week pyramid up and then get off it, reset the body. Your body gets used to Clen and fights back. AK, the dosage you use, your body adapts to, thus you have to continue titrating up the dosage until you get to one of these extreme dosages and then you taper off. Personally, I like to start at, you know, 50, 40 micrograms and tie trade up to 100 over the course of two weeks and stop. Now there are people crazier than me that tie trade up to 200 micrograms. My two cents on this matter is anything really 
around 150 micrograms and above, you are for sure in heart attack risk category. Andrew, I remember one time I had a guy come up to me in the gym. He's like, my cleanse stopped working. Cause like, he didn't know, like your body gets used to it and you have to taper off. And I'm like, well, how much are you on? He's like 200 micrograms a day, which I'm just like, you know, I looked around, I'm like, this dude could drop from a heart attack at any moment. And because his beta one receptors aren't stimulated, he feels fine. There's no like paranoia, like my heart's fucked up. That's what makes cleanse so dangerous. So basically what are the side effects? Well, let's talk about how you know your clenbuterol is legit or not. Your clen is legit if your hand starts shaking. It's fake shit if your hand's not shaking. So you should immediately start experiencing a small tremor. I remember when I would text on Clen, I'd be like missing buttons and shit. That's how you know it's legit. If you're not shaking on Clen, it's not real. It's fake, it's a sugar pill. That's how you know your Clen is real, but you can expect convulsions, shaking, overall extreme excessive sweating, insomnia, and overall feeling buzzed up, wired up, right? You're not gonna to feel it like I'm gonna have a heart attack per se you might on the higher dosages or if you titrate up too quickly but you're definitely gonna be shaky all the time and that is one of the most annoying things to do phone work on clenbuterol if you gotta do any sort of phone work I don't think you're gonna be liking clen because you're gonna constantly be staring at your fingers and hands shaking knowing that you're fucking with your body this bad Andrew I had a bikini competitor come in my DM box who accidentally I think dosed a upwards of 200 micrograms because she had a liquid solution. And that led to her on the toilet puking for 30 hours straight in convulsions. So again, micrograms are hard to measure out and that's what you can expect if you fuck up with this. And then imagine pairing it with anabolic steroids that also raise blood pressure. You can see where I'm going here on why I don't like clenbuterol. It can 100% cause an arrhythmia so easy and have you on a pacemaker for weeks, months after to correct it, right? Clen is not a free ride. It's marketed by these coaches as this universal, you know, easy to use fat loss drug where, oh, there's not much risk. Just go on it. You'll maintain your muscle into your contest. And yeah, you're going to be a little shaky, but you'll be fine. You could get an arrhythmia, a regular heartbeat, really easy from Clen. It's not that difficult. And the dosages used by certain individual coaches, upwards of 100 micrograms a day, you are in that territory where that can easily occur in certain individuals. So yeah, that's really my thoughts. I'm not a fan of Clen. I understand why it's used because it's very, very powerful. It works great. And overall, if you manage the dosage correctly, tie trade up, pyramid up, come off, then go back on. I can see it, you know, working out in your favor on preserving muscle mass in the cut, as well as giving you that crispy temporary look in my opinion clen is such a temporary look obviously you can use it over more extended periods of time to get permanent fat loss if you keep it off with diet but there is a weird temporary look achieved with clen that again if you're in a competition prep situation i can see why you're chasing that especially when you're pairing it with anabolics right if you want to add that little bit of crisp to your physique you know clen is going to come in there and help you dial that in even further especially with bikini competitors who are already eating like a fucking leaf of lettuce a day there it's going to come in there and harden them and dry them out more especially if they're not really looking to use you know male androgens to create that look clen can be a drying agent for sure the problem is is the irregular heartbeat is very possible heart attack very possible and overall it's a nasty drug when you're titrated up above 60 micrograms a day i mean i'm sensitive to 40 at the start 40 starts working i start using 50 60 then i start using 60 70 then i start using 80 90 then i'm at 100 micrograms for the same effect and if you're doing a prep that's long you want to push above that people push above that that's where the problems start arising in my opinion and you are risking all that and you will virtually feel fine as far as your heart feels in my opinion but trust me you are stressing your body out your body doesn't know what's going on at those super physiological dosages you are not using it as a broncholator at that point and you are 100 fucking with all these beta receptors and it's going to end badly for some individuals aka they're going to be on a pace 
pacemaker after. They're going to come off it and their heart's going to be skipping or something and it's going to be offbeat and they're going to have to go to a cardiologist and get that corrected. I've seen that happen. I've seen it happen. It's not like this rare thing like, oh, Russo, the heart attack's rare thing. You have a heart attack from steroids. Cool. You can really get in a regular heartbeat easily from Clen, and I've seen it happen. Some of these dosages over extended periods of time with synthetic androgens paired on top in a contest prep situation really isn't a good recipe for heart health at all. You're fucking with your heart's system of monitoring itself with the beta receptors. And you're using that for fat loss, cause more fat oxidation, blah, 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 blah. In turn, it's fucking with the heart. I could bring it off its track. You don't want that to happen. What are your thoughts with Clen? Personally, I would stay away from it unless you're in a contest prep situation and you need that temporary crispy look to get a placing on stage. That's where it makes sense. In the upper echelons of extreme performance. Do I think you should pop a bunch of clen to go on the beach? No, I think you should just die and no one's gonna notice, oh, he's got the little clen look. No, no. You really want to just use this if you're extremely dedicated to competitive bodybuilding. And on this specific date, you want the best temporary look possible and you're willing to risk your health. I will see you guys in my next video.